Actually, my father wanted me to go to law school. I applied to law schools and I got into various law schools. And while I was going through that process, I was like, you know, I don't think I want to be a lawyer. So I thought, well, what else am I interested in? And I was really interested in food. Have you tried these? I think I'm really inspired by what's fresh at the farmer's market um, or just what's in season. Or, I mean, I could see like a kohlrabi and I'm like, ah, that's it. You know, I'll need to figure out what to do with it. There's like a big education gap where people are like, oh, I have to eat fast food because it's cheap. And it's only cheap in money, but it's not cheap in everything else. It's not good for you. You don't feel good after you eat it. I think we need to reculture ourselves and we really need to learn what food is all about. And I think we're at that crossroads right now. Even the organic food, the big organic food, is just big organic food. I really think that people need to go back to growing their own food, supporting their local agriculture, supporting local farms. It's the way to get the most nutrition out of your food. Most people don't know how to cook a pot of brown rice or how to cook beans from dry or even how to cook vegetables. It's kind of shocking. You know, kids think they come in packages in the store. When my son Shane was a baby, I decided I was going to write a book and I called it a cookbooklet and it had 44 recipes in it and I kind of just slammed it out on the computer and I sold about 500 of those little books. I like to put myself in the eater's position because let's face it, we're all eaters. I really encourage people to be creative with a recipe. A recipe is just a jumping off point. But if you feel comfortable only using the recipe, use the recipe. My approach to teaching people about cooking pretty much always has been like what I would eat, you know? And so my favorite recipes are the ones that I cook regularly and I eat. And that's really my goal is to educate people so that this is the food they can eat every day. The thing about eating real food is people say to me, you ate all that? And I'm like, yeah, you can eat so much more food when you eat real food. Whether it's cancer, diabetes, heart disease, high blood pressure, I mean, the list goes on and on. They're all related to diet. And so the thing that's so fascinating is they are preventable if people change what they eat.